Today on Forbes, Elon Musk installs quick and dirty turbines to power XAI's Memphis data centers. When Memphis, Tennessee's grid couldn't provide all the electricity needed to power XAI's new Colossus data center, the Elon Musk-led artificial intelligence company turned to a quick and dirty solution, mobile natural gas turbines. These power plants on wheels are usually a last resort during emergencies, not a permanent solution. For example, they were crucial in restoring power in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria left the island in ruins. But data centers around the country have started to use them as a stopgap solution. There are at least four at the XAI site, possibly more, churning out not only electricity, but pollutants like nitrous oxide and formaldehyde. But shortly after the data center became operational, it became apparent to local journalists, along with environmental activists, that no public agency had actually authorized the use of mobile gas turbines that are powering it. Patrick Anderson, a lawyer with the Southern Environmental Law Center, wrote the Shelby County Health Department in August 2024, quote, to verify that XAI is operating these turbines without the required air permit and bring an appropriate enforcement action for failing to obtain a permit. XAI did not respond to a request from Forbes for comment. It wasn't until January 2025 that XAI's sister company, CTC Property LLC, finally submitted a formal permit application to the Shelby County Department of Health to not only backdate approval of the four mobile gas turbines already in operation, but to add 11 more. That would give the site 150 megawatts of power, on top of the 150 megawatts that the local grid is already providing it. All told, that's enough electricity to power nearly 100,000 homes. This document was first obtained and reported on in January by the Commercial Appeal, a newspaper in Memphis. While mobile turbines are cheap and easy to deploy compared to conventional natural gas-based stationary power plants, which can take years to build, they are considerably less energy efficient, sometimes by as much as 50%. They're also much dirtier, emitting significantly more pollutants per unit of energy generated. Daniel Cohen, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Rice University, told Forbes, quote, It's very much a quick and dirty approach that's very wasteful, financially and environmentally. It's far more expensive to run your own gas generator than it is to buy electricity off the grid. But for AI companies in the growth at any cost phase of a transformative industry, mobile gas turbines are an easy stopgap for delivering the additional energy their proliferating new data centers require at a time when energy firms and stationary gas turbine manufacturers are backlogged to the point of near crisis. Tech firms don't even need to buy them. Companies like Solaris Energy Infrastructure and APR Energy rent them out for years on end, and they're cashing in on exploding demand. In January, Scott Strazik, the CEO of GE Vernova, the world's largest turbine maker, with a market capitalization of $88 billion, said in an earnings call that the company plans to build, quote, 70 to 80 large-scale stationary gas turbines in 2026, almost double the number it will produce this year. As easy as they might be to get up and running, in large enough numbers, mobile gas turbines are subject to stringent emission standards, particularly in areas that are already environmentally stressed, like the area in which XAI's data center is nestled. Despite this, the Shelby County Health Department told Forbes in a statement that, quote, there is no set timeline for approval of the mobile turbines at the XAI site. According to its application, XAI's sister company CTC Property claims that its proposed 15 mobile gas turbines would emit 9.79, or just under 10 tons, of formaldehyde per year, a critical limit. Once any site crosses 10 tons per year, the EPA designates it as a, quote, major source of pollution under the Clean Air Act, triggering more regulation and monitoring, in part because formaldehyde is known to cause cancer. Currently, CTC's application states the site is a, quote, minor source. For full coverage, check out Sarus Farivar's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.